There's Vivo Mobile, there's oh, yes. Vivo uh, <laughs> Energy, and but this is Vivo. Vivo Woman. Vivo Woman. Yes. <laughs> So um, take us through that, and of course our viewers can see all the stellar, I mean, great e-commerce, by the way. Congratulations mm -hmm. across, you know, Vivo, Shop Z2. It's, 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 it's appealing to the eye, and it actually shows that Kenya is actually ready. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're talking about all this, the power of the mobile. Exactly. And, yeah. you know, e-commerce and how m has yeah. revolutionized and can actually pay online. Mm -hmm. We just think you can just do this abroad, but we're doing it right here. 100%. So take us through the nuts and bolts. Okay, so, I mean, Vivo... You know, we started Vivo 11 years ago, um, and we now have 19, soon to be 20 stores um, across Kenya. We have one in Uganda, in Rwanda as well. And I think that's given us a really solid understanding of the fashion space in the country, and um, in particular, what it takes to build a local fashion brand, because a lot of the clothing that you see Kenyans wearing is really not, um, you know, made locally. And after sort of nine, ten years in, um, we realized that we needed to get far deeper into the e-commerce space because a lot of our customers were only able to get our products if they visit the stores. Um, but we wanted to make it a lot more convenient and accessible for people who maybe were not living near a Vivo store. Um, and so we went into the e-commerce space and and realized that this was a challenge, not just for us, but for a lot of the different fashion players that are out there. Um, fashion is very disintegrated. It's a lot of tiny players, many of them doing a great job with their stores or their Instagram pages. Some have websites, but it, there wasn't one place that you could go and find a wide range of fashion in a very curated way where you could actually see what the product was, you know, you'd be able to get reviews and see what other people had thought about it. You could trust the platform and know that if we pay for this, we, we're going to get what we see and we're going to get it in time. And if we don't like it, we can send it back, we can return it, we will get our money back guaranteed. And, you know, there's, I mean, Jumia and a lot of these other general marketplaces that have done a great job in, you know, getting people used to ordering online, but they're not specializing in fashion. Um, and so we saw the gap and we, and we decided to create Shop Z2, which is a fashion dedicated marketplace. It's a one-stop shop where you can come and buy from multiple brands. You only have to make one order. We will organize, you know, bringing all those pieces together and deliver it to you um, for free. If, you, if you're willing to spend over 5,000 shillings and, you know, and there are other offers as well. Um, and really, you know, what we want to do is just sort of lift the entire fashion ecosystem and make sure that a lot of these players are available online to whoever wants to buy them. Mm -hmm. uh, let me be frank. I actually tried ordering uh -huh. one for my wife uh -huh. and she said, Sorry, that's taken. Not available. Not oh, available. Yeah. Not available. See the demand. <laughs> so the back. Then how are you meeting that demand? Because yeah. uh, honestly, so maybe it's the <laughs> the great outfits that are really. Taking yeah, I mean, obviously they're yeah. the very fast movers, yeah. um, and data is helping us to predict. Mm -hmm. You know, we can sort of see the demand now, and and you know, let the different sellers know this is a really fast moving product. You know, please try and make more available but these are the learning challenges of a new platform as well so that's the back end and now mm -hmm. uh, getting it to the store so are you working with border borders delivery um? absolutely we do a lot of in-house so yeah. for us the delivery is, is an extension of the customer experience okay. and we want to be able to bring the flexibility to you so if you want to pay by cash from pesa credit card if you want to if you're not sure of your size and you think you want to have two sizes brought so you can quickly try one on, we'll try and meet you where your need is. Yeah. Um, and so we, we have our own in-house riders. Sometimes the, the orders are so many that we'll need to outsource. And so we have partners that we work with as well. So um, to an entrepreneur you know, watching the show mm -hmm. and you know, someone wants to go into um, such kind of business as well, mm -hmm. it's on the e-commerce in Kenya. What mm -hmm. are you learning? Because you mentioned about Jumia mm -hmm. uh, and Instagram. Mm -hmm. And one of the insights we're getting from the Africa e-commerce space is that, wait a minute, um, folks, youth are actually ordering more on Instagram mm -hmm. than on Jumia. 
for mm -hmm. instance, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of that, that movement, mm -hmm. what are some of the other things that you're actually seeing in that whole ecosystem? I think, I think we're seeing the numbers growing all the time. Um, and often people do a lot of looking first. So what we'll see is that people will come to the site, they'll visit it two, three times before they place an order. Their first order might be, you know, quite a small one. They're sort of testing the system, but very often you'll see them come back and come back and come back and keep ordering again and again. And I think for us, the main issue is trust. And, you know, are people trusting the platform? Do they, do they feel, you know, um, if I order this, I'll actually get it? Uh, and, and with clothing, often you, 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 know, you may get the sizing a bit wrong. It's not like walking into a store and you can try it on. So we also want to make people feel very confident that if the sizing doesn't work, we can replace it. If the style isn't what you thought it would be, you can get your money back. Um, but there's definitely an uptake okay. in the online shopping. And off a phone. Yes, I mean, we, yes, we see that um, over 90% of the people who come on the platform are doing it from a mobile phone.